Hello, I am Eric Corcoran. Um, I figured I'd just do a voice recording because my room is a mess. That's where I'm recording this right now. So I figured I'd spare you that trouble. Um, but getting on to the assignment, I picked um, USA Gymnastics. Um, mostly because I've always been really interested in gymnastics. I mean, I could never do the flips and stuff. So it was always kind of an awe and amazement watching them do it all. And um, it's also kind of with all the Nasser stuff um, going out and all the turmoil they've been in. Um, I kind of wanted to guess take a deeper dive down and look into what's going on in the organization, what his position was, who's in it now, and um, kind of see how everything's moving. Um, so their internal structure, I'm just going to read it right off of the website because um, I think this is obviously the best way. Um, so it's basically it's governed by a 15-person board of directors that provides long-term strategic planning. Um, the board consists of eight inter independent directors, three athlete directors, three national membership directors, and one advisory council representative. Um, these officers are all also members of the board. Um, so more specifically, also they have um, a chairman, vice chairman, slash secretary, and a treasurer, um, all coming from different, I guess, realms of gymnastics with women, um, gymnastics, men's gymnastics, um, national membership directors, um, all that fun stuff. Um, so this was, USA Gymnastics was founded in 1963 in Tucson, Arizona, and it currently resides in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, I mean, I guess as I've gone through a lot of these places, it's kind of amazing to me um, how many places are headquartered in Indianapolis, I guess because the crossroads of America. Um, so everything kind of goes around there, and I, I, Indianapolis is a cool city, so um, it's right in the middle of everything, and it's nice to be there. Um, this is something I guess I thought was interesting about the organization, was that I found basically a blacklist um, for people who have been banned from competing in USM Gymnastics or um, are no longer allowed to be registered with USM Gymnastics. I mean, it has a whole list of everyone and the exact law they broke. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like the exact wording of the law, so if you want to see what they did, you have to dive kind of deeper back in. Um, but it basically says these are all these people. So, like, for example, Larry Nassar, um, he's banned, obviously. And so it says Larry Nassar, state of Michigan, he broke by law, um, whatever. I don't have it up right now. Um, but you can go in there and look at it. Um, and finally, I mean, obviously, USM Gymnastics has some um, housekeeping stuff. I kind of, I guess they have to get back to and kind of change their image again. Um so, I mean, they have USA Gymnastics University where I was looking at courses. I'm not sure if you had to pay for them, if they're free. Um, but you could take courses and stuff like business and judging or competitive gymnastics and kind of learn more and get acquainted with the sport and everything that goes on with it. Uh, they have webinars, which I'm sure are similar to USA Gymnastics University, but um, free, I know for sure. Um, and I guess it's, I mean, they also have USA Gym Parents, so I bet all of these are probably outlets for parents to kind of. I guess learn more about the sports, see what their kids are getting into, and more about the organization as a whole, because, I mean, who really knows if these kids get talented enough, they could end up being a figurehead for USA Gymnastics and be competing in the Olympics like Simone Biles or Ali Raisman, um, which obviously is every parent's dream, I'd imagine, um, or something of the sort. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the rundown USA Gymnastics. Um, I'll hopefully have some fun things to add to this, and thank you. Bye.